Okay, what we're going to do is on the left hand side show the beat poem rhythm. And on the right hand side is where we're beginning to push it onto the um, our new composition, It Too. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 13, Exploration. In this episode, we re-entered reflecting there's a creative cycling between our music composing and our other projects. Um, we also reminded ourselves when we have more ideas than we know what to do with, it's strangely similar to when we have zero ideas on what to do, just jump in. And at the moment, we have a lot of ideas and we're working out our methods to keep our creative energy up with these multiple projects going on, especially with the projects that have pigment grinding. Now, speaking of pigment grinding, you may or may not recall that we're working with this, this new HPO2 scale, the heptatonic parallel number two. And this table here, purple shows the progress. There's 120 chords here and we've managed to sp to spell and type them all and we're trying to get them put down into the display area so that we can then put them on a score so we've made some major progress because we had made something we called the chord enumerator um, a year and a half ago and so we resurrected it and we're going to give you an example for example this chord here says you know that's a C13 C major tonic. And we want to put it down here in a display format. Look what we've figured out how to do. We paste it in here. This automatically figures out all the notes. So we copy that and we put that over here. And voila. That's a C13 chord. There's the C. It goes up one to the D flat. There's the D flat. Then it goes up three, one, two, three, to three, to the E. So now we can say, aha, you can be purple. So we're kind of chuffed. Now it took us a while. It was intense and it was fun. And it uses lookup tables and formulas and blah, blah, blah. So we did that. So that was a major accomplishment because now we can it basically, it lets us kind of directly translate these into display patterns. Now, once we've done that, we still have to sort these display patterns out kind of manually at the moment and slap them in here somewhere. Nevertheless, um, this is what we call grinding pigments. There are 12 tones in a traditional, any scale, well, there's 12 tones, C through B. And then when you put them in chords, you have 120 possible chords and any one scale does has different chords blah 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 so when they figure out what the chords are we call that grinding the pigments you know take the 12 color primary colors and grind them up and mix them up in threes and twos and whatnot so we did that we did that so then we also we also updated the, the spreadsheet then we made an animation now we've been working with darkness composition for a while but we really wanted to do some funky fun stuff with it with with overlapping circles so we make kind of a new overlap version and each of these circles is on a different cycle um, each of these is 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 slightly it's number one they're slightly jiggling they have randoms in them you can if you can see they're jiggling there they're just jiggling there's no music driving anything here they're just kind of overlapping and unoverlapping each other and then the you know there's a kind of a mental model in the background and then we kick it off and here's the animation So we're going to post that on our YouTube open mic channel. So if you want to see the whole thing, it'll be there. 
And finally, 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 we um, we got back to working with our it poem. And remember, the it poem is this thing, had we not glimpsed it, we would not see it. And we spent a lot of time earlier making a rhythm out of it. So now we're simplifying the rhythm. And now we're playing it, we're, we're just begun to work at playing it against some interval arpeggios. And we picked uh, different interval arpeggios to go with the four lines of the it poem. There they are, one, five, one, four, two, four, three, four, five, five. So we're going to play what we've got at the moment for you, and then that'll bring us home. And we better check it out just a little bit. Here we go. And that's as far as we got. <laughs> Because the challenge is taking what was a complicated rhythm on the left-hand side, the real rhythm, go like this. And what we like about what we're doing is we're now exploring composing in rhythm A, which we spent a lot of time on this piece, and now we're exploring uh, smooshing it along with, 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 well, I wouldn't call that a melody. It's a figure at the top at the moment. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with everything. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, we're going to share some work at Open Mic. Uh, keep working with the reference sheet. You saw that we have the chord enumerator, the chordorator, uh, the it to composition, which we just listened to, and uh, we got some more ideas about the chord sorts. Shout outs to Days S20 and Arctic14 and Miss Cleo who stopped by. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.